More than three quarters of the global population of lesser flamingos are found in East Africa, where they rely on a small network of highly productive saline lakes. They filter the water to feed on the dense cyanobacterial blooms found only in these extreme alkaline saline waters. Large flocks move nomadically between these lakes, likely in search of food and for courtship, so they're incredibly dependent on these unique aquatic ecosystems. Unfortunately, global populations of lesser flamingos are believed to be in decline. However, the reasons for these declines are largely unknown. It could be due to the fact that the unique saline lake habitats that they rely on are highly sensitive to hydrological change, driven by both climatic and land use change factors within their catchments. Although changes in habitat availability have not been assessed, and this is possibly due to the irregular monitoring of these water bodies that are often in remote and inaccessible locations. We also don't know much about what might be driving flamingo movements between lakes, or what makes a lake habitat suitable in the first place. We wanted to address these knowledge gaps and investigate potential declines in lesser flamingo populations, as well as assess the current threats facing lesser flamingos to better inform future conservation action for soda lake ecosystems. To do this, we used Earth observation satellites to monitor changes in water quality, habitat availability and climate trends for 22 East African saline lakes over the last two decades across Kenya, Tanzania and Ethiopia. Earth observation satellites measure the reflectance of the Earth's surface in different sections of the electromagnetic spectrum or different wavelengths of light. The reflectance can then be used to determine concentrations of cyanobacteria, water surface temperatures, lake areas and much more. We combine these data with lesser flamingo counts conducted since the 1990s to investigate what the drivers of flamingo movements are between the saline lakes, how lake changes impact habitat availability, and what this means for lesser flamingo conservation. So, what did we find? Firstly, we found that lesser flamingo populations move in response to food availability, or the concentrations of the cyanobacterial blooms within the lakes, just as you would expect. These blooms are dynamic and can grow rapidly or die off unexpectedly, depending on the environmental conditions. Interestingly, we also found that lesser flamingos move away from lakes with rising water levels or increase in surface areas. But why might this be? We theorised that this could be due to rising water levels altering the water chemistry, reducing the food availability to lesser flamingos. So next, we investigated monthly changes in cyanobacterial blooms or food availability, as well as changes in lake water levels for all of the 22 soda lakes from 2000 to 2023. We found that many of the lakes are in fact rising, and over the same time period and at the same lakes, the food availability has decreased. Using segmented regression analysis, we then identified clear overlapping breakpoints where water levels began rising simultaneously with declines in food availability. It is likely that the rising water levels are diluting the usually highly alkaline saline waters, making it less likely for the cyanobacteria to grow because they're not adapted to these water quality parameters. Now what does this mean for lesser flamingos? Flamingos require a certain concentration of cyanobacteria for efficient feeding. Due to the decline in cyanobacterial bloom concentrations that we observed, the number of lakes meeting this threshold and providing high quality feeding habitat has declined from around 40% of lakes to around 20% now. Fewer lakes are providing healthy habitat for lesser flamingos. It is likely that lesser flamingos will move north or south away from the equator where water levels have risen the most in Kenya and Tanzania and they possibly will move to unprotected lakes outside of current nature reserves and Ramsar sites, increasing their vulnerability. However, other soda lake biodiversity, such as invertebrates and fish species found nowhere else that are adapted to these extreme water quality conditions, cannot move between soda lakes as easily, and they're also threatened by these changing lake conditions. With increasing rainfall predicted for East Africa under climate change, improved catchment management and nature-based solutions to reduce surface runoff are required to better protect these highly sensitive ecosystems and their unique biodiversity in the future.